Okay, so today we will be installing this TP-Link Casa Smart Wi-Fi light switch. Motion activated, as you can see in the laundry room. That way, you don't have to hit the switch on and off. We forget about it, leave it on. And so, let's get started. Uh, and as always, turn off the main power to the room that you will be working on also i have that d1 uh like a floodlight uh, we'll review that later on for now we'll stick to this okay and these are all the parts that come along with it okay, here we go Okay. Wire couplings, bezel, Let's see, uh, couple labels, a uh, quick start guide. Okay, it's uh, bought some uh, uh, wire cutters, crimpers, screwdrivers just to see what we all need. So, like I said. Make sure your power is off and uh, let's get started. Placing that. Okay, let's just put this on the side over here. Hmm, let's see. Let's uh, switch this over. Okay, here we go. So let's get back to it so that's off uh just connected the neutral right now uh, make sure that uh your wiring has a neutral depending on which one you buy um so right now we'll just be wiring everything up black to black um, if you do not feel comfortable doing any of this make sure to seek a professional uh, if you're somewhat tech savvy, I guess you're, you're able to do it, but that's not me telling you go ahead and do it. It's however you feel comfortable. Okay, here we go. Before we even put that back in, we just want to make sure that it does power up. So for now, let me just uh, go turn on the power and see where are we at with that. So here we are in the uh, Casa app. We'll just head onto the type right corner over here and plus sign. We'll add a device. We would add a smart switch and we would head down to motion activated switch. No dimmer, just your basic KS200M. We go. Before we start, have you already installed your smart switch on the wall? Yes. Check the Wi Fi light. Okay. Check that already. Let's go ahead orange and green okay 
connect your smart switch go to your iphone's wi-fi settings and join your smart switch wi-fi network and then return back to continue setup okay we go here we search for it and here we see a tp link smart switch we'll click on that and we have connected here we are cycling through connect to your previous wi-fi network okay since obviously if you see that i have uh other casa smart switches that's why it recognizes my wi-fi password for we'll join <clears throat> let us cycle Okay, so you can see now I actually have Alexa also. Get a little notification. Let's name the device. Call it Laundry Room. That's where we'll be using it. Okay, let's see if there's any uh, picture that we can actually add in there to see simulate a laundry room. Uh, looks like we don't. So we'll just use the default switch, save it. Congratulations, you configured your smart switch and it's ready for use in your device list. Sorry about that, there we go. And here we go, laundry room. So we'll just be heading upstairs in a little bit to check it out. Obviously you see all these other ones that I have along the way. Uh, for the setup, that would be all. That would be all. Uh, as far as installing the physical light switch um, and the setting it up in the app itself, uh, you could configure it to whatever you would like. Schedule on a timer. Um, basically, just gonna make it so that it uh, when it senses motion, it'll turn on after. 10 minutes or so maybe five it'll shut off that way they don't have to keep come back in and now hit the switch or forget to hit the switch to turn it off or vice versa so that would be it okay so let's test it out see if it works walk in okay don't need to That's the end product and uh, seems to be working as is for now so let's see if I have any issues as far as the ambient lighting um, because we do have the stairway lights hallway lights yeah I'm actually gonna change that also I like the white lights instead of the yellow uh, but yeah that's it for now